of a white empty bank account. <laughs> ah, I gotta go haul some uh, crushed gravel today for Mr. TD24. Right up over there. So I plugged old C15 in. Should fire right up and have nice warm heater here. There we go. Joe, there's a project that's been neglected. We're gonna be doing old poor old Dick, he's gonna be doing that in the snow.
I'm running a couple different things here. So this is a Waylog 3030. Uh, don't know a whole lot more, more about it than that. But every time, uh, every time the the bucket goes up, it's going to uh, keep track of that. It's got a sensor on the arm, and it'll tell me how much weight's in the bucket. Negative 80. <laughs> in this case, <laughs> negative 80. Normally, uh, good load, uh, like you saw me getting there, those were 12, 13,000 pounds a piece. And uh, I can either set it to, you know, to automatically add it to the total, or I have a button over here I can, you know, just run manually to add it. Um, but uh, that's pretty well it. So that's what you put on me was 49,820? Yep, that's, that's, that's uh, rough. I'll, I'll probably be a little, this will probably be a little over what's actually on the truck. So when I go up to the scale, then how does that work? So the other thing I'm running uh, on my phone here is is just a it's a Chrome extension that allows me to actually see what is on the computer. Oh, okay. And so up on the computer, I run in. You know, we'll we'll create a ticket and set, of course, the hauler name, what vehicle they're running, and then account, job, and and product they're pulling. And after we, they come in the first time, we get a, a tear weight. And then from there, we can pull that up anytime they come across the scale or, or anytime they come in the pit. Uh, so once, when I go up on the scale, once how the accurate scale, is it com to, compared to what you print out on this? That's this my scale versus versus the one up top? Uh, within about 500 pounds. Oh, okay. So, and I've, I've had it better and worse time, time to time, but... Uh, so once you get up on the scale, I can see what's on the scale here, and it'll tell me if there's still motion on it. Once that stops showing motion, I just push save the ticket or print, and uh, it clears out. Then I shoot it. I shoot a little tone through my <laughs> through my radio there. It's a little a little rig set up for now, but uh, it it avoids me having to race up the hill after every truck. And, Oh, cool. Let's you guys get on your way and allows me to keep going if I have another truck here, which is like I do. Okay, so I gave a quick rundown of how that works. While I was talking to him, a truck pulled up on the scale for an empty weight, and he's on his phone weighing him right now. And then he'll beep him, and here he comes. Technology's cool stuff. Uh, for stuff like that. I was asking him about, you know, could they put a red light, green light up there that he could operate, and he said he didn't know, but... So anyway, I'm on the scale, and he's running the loader, so... I'll have to roll down the window here to see if I can hear that deal. Let's see. Here we go, it was that quick. So he's already got me. So I told him I'm not coming over again today. This will be my last look for today. He used to have to, you know, load me and then run up to the scale in the loader or they got a four-wheeler down there and they'd shut the loader off which that can't be good for them to hurry and shut them off like that so uh, when they had a lot of trucks coming and going they would have to put somebody in the scale which is just another cost you know and then 30 minutes later you got no trucks So this is a pretty cool system they got. I like that. So on these county roads, I just chug along about 45. Uh, I just don't need to have an accident or somebody pull out in front of me. Plus, I know I've seen trucks come in front of my house going 50 plus. And it's just too fast for a big truck on a road road. I don't like to drive trucks is 
is uh, I spend a lot of time looking in my mirrors. I'm always looking for people, problems. Uh, I suppose if you're an interstate trucker, you don't really have to do that a lot. I don't know. But it just wears me out because I'm just constantly looking. Always aware. Okay, big question. Can I get another load in here? Yep, I can do it. I can do it. Inner axle lock. Start dumping some suspension air. And open. open. Might have to bang some frozen crap off of the gates. It tends to build up when it's cold like this. Park it back over here in front of the shop so I can plug it in. again on this snowy morning hate winter I hate it somebody bringing a material uh, you can show them the exact times that you came in and there's just no question anyway he's they got him a brand new 821 case <laughs> pretty 
good loader, it looks like. Anyway, he puts uh, three heaping scoops in me, and then a partial bucket, half a bucket, and puts me right at 25 tons every time. asking how much do I pay for this so crushed gravel now is six dollars a ton that's a three-quarter minus I think the pit runs like two and a half a ton pretty cheap ain't it somebody wants to uh, come in with me and we'll buy a 640 acre chunk of ground. Anyway, we do this next to a rail siding load pit run gravel by the train car load and uh, ship it anywhere you want in the United States. You could probably get 30 bucks a ton for it. So I'm just trying to gravel, put some more three-quarter on this. You'll see where the 336 is sitting on the trailer. Um, out here off the end of this is where um, I didn't have any material, so I'm just trying to extend that out. Just run it, kind of open it, shut it, open it, shut it. That way I don't ever have to get out. And I can empty the trailer gates good.
well, why don't you have a dump truck? And he said, well, it's cheaper for him to just hire somebody um, where he's only one guy, and he's got a good point there. I don't really like to do belly dump work with my Kenworth either, because this is my transport truck, and the more I wear it out hauling gravel, sooner I'm going to have to fix it or whatever, and really I just soon uh, hire, I should hire somebody else to do our trucking. Other than, you know, when I'm doing it for myself, I guess it's cheaper, but, you know, I get guys that want me to come haul gravel, whatever, and I'm like, you know, if I got scraper work or dozer work, no thanks, I don't dollars an hour for a truck pulling a belly dump just doesn't just doesn't whet my appetite not even in, hardly interested in that kind of stuff matter of fact I gotta put a gun in my mouth to come out and get in this and haul gravel I just I don't know I just don't like it don't enjoy being in a truck So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll make this the last load to do. Maybe I'll just tell him I'm not coming back until tomorrow. Okay, so I just kind of roughed it out. I'm done for the day. I need to haul in some more here to square this off. Probably going to dump the belly dump hook up to the trailer, get it out of the way. Right there where we load, it's kind of tipped. Might flatten that out a little. I might just haul gravel till I'm absolutely sick of it. Can't stand to be in that truck anymore. Then <laughs> call it quits. Oh, anyway, day shot. Let's go in the house and get warm. It's, it's going to be a sunshiny day, it looks like. It's mighty chilly. Been out here in the field killing gophers. I need to wander out there and see if there's any new mounds. I'm using a poison I get online. It's got strychnine in it. Anyway, got some boxes today going out. Oh, so I got a big old box going to Kevin Green in the United Kingdom. Liverpool Merseyside. Thank you, Kevin. Um, got some stuff going to Andrew, is it Goring, uh, in the United Kingdom, West Sussex, thank you very much, sir, and got some keychains going to Andrew's Tree Service in Harrington, Delaware, uh, Justin Hokinson in Berrywick, Maine, uh, Miles Morris in Power, Montana, I know where that is, um, uh, George Castaneda, in Blackfoot, Idaho. Cool. He's like he's like three miles from me. Anyway, thank you. Uh, Matthew Kremzar from Wallingford, Connecticut. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the J. Pater Whiteboard brought to you by Casey and Olivia. A-A-Ron. A-A-Ron. <laughs> Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Esri. St. Joseph, Illinois. Sunny Grazak, Wyandotte, Michigan. Yep. Robert Andrioli from New Hampshire. Yep, bingo. Michael Sailors, Linda, Georgia. Robert Cost from Minnesota. Tom Nugent, Illinois, Indiana. Do you think he's related to Ted Nugent? <laughs> Do you know who Ted Nugent is? No. Oh, maybe he's related. That's what homeschooling. We wanted to get postcards from all around. We were wondering if we could have postcards from all over the world so, so my mom can get a map and um, we can put little marks on it for Rick from where we get them. Thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day.
<laughs> I can't believe you left those kids with Papa Jeff, Adley. I hope those kids are okay when you get home.